What you doing, Diggler Dreamers? You got Mathras back for uh, yet another showdown live. We're doing more Isle of Armor crazy stuff. And today I really wanted to try out a Crocodile set. Uh, so I'm trying out a Scale Shot one. Uh, if you don't know, Scale Shot, new move tutor move from the Isle of Armor. Uh, dragon type move, 25 power, 90% accuracy. Hits two to five times, uh, but lowers defense, but, but boosts speed after it's done. After the last hit. That's interesting. I wonder if there's... Like, no one would ever interrupt that attack, would it? I wonder, actually, if you were to hit, like, Cramorant with a fish, would it hit you back after the first one? I don't know. Anyway. Yeah, it's a soul best moxie with four attacks. Uh, so the idea is, you know, scale shot and get something, get a KO with on something. Potentially get the moxie boost, so plus one speed, plus one attack, and then you've got your three moves here to, to hopefully take on the rest of the team. Um, uh, you know, skill shot could also be a way to get the speed boost and then KO with one of these and get the attack boost, so it can be a little versatile. Uh, I think Crocodile's pretty cool in this metagame. It's got strong attack, not, the, not as strong as some Pokemon, but uh, pretty good speed as well. Uh, yeah, so I think it'd be pretty cool. Um, we got Power Herb, Meteor Beam, Starmie. This is an another new move uh, from the tutor. 120 power, 90 accuracy. It raises the special attack by 1 on turn 1, and then hits turn 2. So basically with the Power Herb, it becomes a 120 power rock type move uh, that also boosts my special attack before I even hit with the attack. And then I've got Hydro Pump, Psy Shock, and Ice Beam as well as just a um, stab and then coverage um, and Starmie's actually I think pretty cool in this tier uh, being 100 special attack not the greatest but once you get a boost it gets pretty cool uh, and then 115 speed is actually pretty sweet and if you get the chance to use the analytic ability that's also really awesome uh, I've got Marowak here pretty standard it's becoming standard I guess um, Stealth Rock, Fire Punch, Boomerang, Poltergeist Obviously, another one of those new moves: 110 power base, 110 base power, ghost move, physical move, 90% accuracy, but only if the target has an item. Uh, this thing is pretty cool, though. With lightning rod, it actually is able to take on uh, Magirna with like a volt switch, and it actually takes hits from things like Volcarona as well. I think like a plus one psychic doesn't even knock out Marowak, which is cool. Um, and then Poltergeist is obviously doing a lot back to both of those guys. Uh, and then I've got Scarf, Porygon Z, which you guys teleport now, which is pretty cool. Uh, but this thing is actually, I've, I, I used to run this thing even like back in the day, in, like Sun and Moon. I think a choice Scarf set, well it was actually, it was BL because of the Z moves back in Sun and Moon. But prior to that, Gen 6, X and Y, I think uh, choice Scarf, Porygon Z was pretty cool. Uh, adaptability try attack is actually pretty strong, and it has a good chance to get some hack. Well, not really. has a, has a chance to get some crazy stuff, so you never know. Uh, and then Bolt Beam for coverage, which just hits most things. Uh, and Teleport now, which is, I think is a pretty cool fourth move to kind of get that um, get that uh, initiative. Uh, 135 base special attack, too, with um, the adaptability boosted try attack. I think it's pretty sweet. Uh, I've got Defensive Wheezing with Strange Steam, Defogger, Will-O-Whisper, Pain Splitter, uh, you know, standard. Swords Dance, Age Slash, uh, Age Slash, um, basically has like a kind of a defensive-ish core with Marowak, Wheezing, Age Slash, and then the offensive Porygon Z, Starmie, Crocodile, but Age Slash can be pretty offensive as well. Uh, I've got enough speed here to outspeed slower, bulkier things like Clefable, Corviknight, um, and something else, <laughs> things that are bulky and might run maybe a little speed, like if uh, Clefable is running like a few points in speed, I'll still outspeed it, same with Corviknight, I think, um, yeah, so I think it's a pretty weird team, but it could, it could put in some work, and I'm gonna give it a shot, I am gonna indeed give it a shot, okay, we got the first battle, how do I be... How would be talking? How would be Toxapex? Okay, Crocodile and Starmie actually both take on Toxapex. That's good. So we got a Grimmsnarl, Toxapex, Rotom, Aegislash, Rillaboom, and Terrakion. Where am I on the ladder now? Okay. I have not recovered from that last team. Uh, 
shout out to the last team I made, which was Terrain Pulse Clots, or if you want to check that out, I'll, I'll put a link to that at the top of the screen, hopefully. Um, but if not, just check my channel, you know, it's there. Okay, okay, okay. So, he forfeits. Alright. I guess I took too long. You know there's a thing called a timer, bro. Okay, we got a new team. <laughs> the only other time I've actually seen a Scyther, it destroyed me. But, and you know, it might again. I think I might need to just make sure I keep Aegis Lash healthy to be able to tank a hit from that if I need to. Um, Porygon Z also should outspeed it, unless it's Scarf itself, but I doubt it. It's probably Boots. Uh, and then he's got Slowbro Galar, Corviknight, Hydreigon, uh, he left. What the hell? Volcarona and Barraskewda, but he's back. Okay, cool. He, he left, but he came back quick. Um, he's got a few... He could lead his water type or his dark type to kind of counter my Marowak. And I do want to try to keep Marowak a little bit healthy for the Volcarona as well. Okay. Should lead Porygon. Porygon actually puts in the work versus his team. He has like nothing to switch into this. This can switch into the normal type move, but still, I have Thunderbolt for it too. Ooh, and I can I get I could probably get to a point where I can just click like Ice Beam or Thunderbolt. Okay, I need to pick a lead. Okay, I don't think he's gonna lead. I don't. I have no idea. He doesn't have anything that's like a standard lead. Like he doesn't have like any hazard setters or anything like that. All right, I'm just gonna lead Marowak. Let's see, lead Scyther. Okay, that actually works out for me. I'm just gonna go for some Stealth Rock. It's probably gonna like U-turn or something. Or he could have Knock Off actually. Or he just goes right for the dual wing beat. My God. It does so much damage. And the thing is, like, he's just boots, too. Like, he can switch up his moves and stuff. Oh, man. Am I going to lose to Volcarona now? I might. I might. I might. I might. <laughs> man. That's crazy. I mean, Aegis Last resists, right? But he just U-turns. <laughs> I am in so much trouble against this team. I really should not have expected Marowak to take this thing on. Scyther is so good, dude. And in comes the Volcarona. Takes a big chunk. <laughs> why do I even try? You know? Like, why? The thing is, he outspeeds my Porygon at plus one speed, too. I am just pure setup fodder for this thing now, and it's so bad. I don't know what to do. This team is not equipped to handle Volcarona without Marowak. I'm just gonna try to go Starmie. Oh god. It's just gonna blow me away with Bug Buzz. And there's literally nothing I can do. My only hope is he gets greedy. Yeah, why would he? <laughs> why would he? He just wins. He just wins. It's like, I, Weezing can probably tank a hit, but like can't do anything back. Yeah, I die through assault vest. Man. I 
I actually outspeed. He's modest. Oh. <laughs> you know, I hate this game sometimes. Oh. I can't believe I outsped him there. It's gonna go Aegis Slash. See, defogs. Wheezing, maybe Thomas oh, Gross. <laughs> Back into Porygon as he goes Scyther. Okay. Die. Oh! oh! <laughs> Okay, but I live the hit. Okay. Oh, it's really bad that he's taunt and he's quick attack. He said, what are the chances of that? The freeze and then the thaw. Crazy, right? Let's see. Oh, I miss. <laughs> Why not? Why not? Can you just kill me, dude? Can you just end my suffering? Ugh. See if I, maybe I can get some swords dances going. Oh, he's got fire blast. Never mind. Never mind. Can't believe I would be so foolish. Flinch. Okay. Maybe he dies to burn. No, nope. he's got leftovers, right? <clears throat> or black slug. He's got leftovers and he's a poison thing. <laughs> Hello. At least I can KO him with the strange steam. Please. Yeah, okay. Confuse him. Alright, he's just regenerator, didn't he? Just end my suffering. Please, nice. You know what? I'm going for game. I am going for game. I'm clicking it again. Damn right. Go Corviknight. Go Corviknight because you want to taunt me. Oh. <laughs> Is he just going to... He's just going to get more recovery. Back to Scyther as I miss again. <laughs> I miss again. 95% accuracy, folks. Goes the slow, bro. Dang, so that would have KO'd <laughs> if he was at 7%. Can this guy really just stop? Like, what are you accomplishing with this? You're just trying to get your slow, bro, back to full HP. I miss again. Really, dude? Really? Come on. Yeah, I'm not gonna... <laughs> Can 
we, there needs to be some kind of code among thieves, you know? Like, if I'm if I'm clearly gonna lose, like, just end the game. Don't switch around, get your generator back, and then call mine to my face. Like, come on. Like, <laughs> I don't know, maybe I shouldn't just make these crap teams because they piss me off so much, but... Uh, it's when they hit that makes it so good. Alright, alright, alright. I think Crocodile could actually do this one if I get rid of the Corviknight and maybe get a Moxie boost. I should do like Marowak here a lot too. Let's see if he's come out. He's gonna get rocks up as I'm gonna poltergeist him. Oh. I go wheezing as he goes Corviknight. Hello. Is that real? Cor Corviknight would not have taken that very well. Maybe Willow Wisp him. Oh, <laughs> no way, dude. There's no way. Oh, that was bad play, that's bad play. <laughs> oh gosh. Yeah, I don't know, I think I'm off. I'm playing so weird and loose. <laughs> Okay, I get a good amount of HP back then, and he just goes for a Draining Kiss for some reason. So I'm gonna go Marowak. Oh my god, that did so much. I hope he goes Corviknight again. Goes Incineroar. Yeah, why didn't he go that? Oh, it, I like that this actually tells you what items is running too. I didn't even realize that. Knocks off. I'm gonna try to paint split again. <laughs> Flare blitzes just to knock me out, okay. Could it go for a Hydro Pump? This Gastrodon actually does mess me up pretty bad. He's probably gonna go right into the Gastrodon, so I'm gonna knock off. He stayed in. What is wrong with me? Why am I so bad at this game? Oh, I guess, you know, I guess he knew. Guess he knew. Ugh. That's just. Oh my god. These heavy duty boots, Corvin. What? What on earth? I don't know. I'm just gonna get damage. not cut out for this <laughs> I'm not I'm not cut out for this I just need to like make it like a, just a standard team and then put crocodile on it is that what I need to do that doesn't sound fun eleven percent I 
want to bone meringue the incineroar. Yes. Thank God. <laughs> in a pretty good spot now. Um, I just need to get, find a way to get rid of the Gastrodon. That's actually the one thing. If I can find a way to get rid of this Gastrodon. I think if I can hit it with a Poltergeist, if he like sends it out now, and I can hit it with a Poltergeist, I mean, I don't see a reason why he wouldn't just go Kamoa. He probably has a move to hit me. Unless he doesn't have Earthquake, which would actually would be dope. If he doesn't go Corv if he doesn't go uh, the Kamoa right now, like he is not earthquake especially since considering how long he's taking to go to it i could probably ko the hatterene even at minus one attack yeah corviknight probably tanks a fire punch i guess maybe i should save this because it kills so much of his team he does go Gastrodon. I want to get damage on this so bad. <laughs> I mean, if I can kill this thing, the situation I'm in is so good. Okay, you know what? There's a reason that, that calcs are a thing. Where's my custom set? Let's say worst case scenario, physically defensive. Minus one, 40 to 48. Okay, so that's not great. And he's definitely gonna knock me out. Let's see, Porygon Z, custom set. Ooh. How much does Corviknight actually take from this? Switch. Is it just toxics? I'm gonna go for the try attack. I think it would be crazy to go hardcore of night here. Because he has no idea what move I could possibly be busting out. But I also want to teleport. The try attack is the best play. It gets a lot of damage on this thing if he decides to stay in. And it could potentially burn the Corviknight or something. It also hits the rest of his team pretty hard too. Okay, let's me get some damage. Okay, he's pretty bulky. Alright, that's not good. Hard star me. <laughs> he recovers. I can hit him with a Psy Shock. Should do less. He's, he seems to be specially defensive based on how much that did. Because. I put in the physically defensive set and try attacks doing 49 minimum. And it did 40, right? Oh, God. That did uh, no damage. Uh, he's got to recover here. He's got to recover here, right? Yeah. Okay. So I can get some good damage right now with Poltergeist. Marowak. Marowak, I love you. <laughs> oh my god. Marowak might bring this game home. He's got 20 seconds on the clock. He left. I win? I win? I think 
thing. He's got five seconds and he's gone. I win. I win. <laughs> That's crazy. All right, I'm gonna do a, another uh, battle with this team, but that'll be in the next video. So I'll catch you guys in that one. Peace out. Keep dreaming. Goodbye.